Good afternoon. Welcome back to Me Being Cheap. In the previous video um, that I posted on YouTube, I did a cylinder contribution test and discovered that there is a problem with the number two cylinder of this Nissan 300ZX. Um, what I also did, but that you did not see in that video, is I also own tested all of the coil packs and uh, they were found to have an equal reading. So I don't think the problem is with that. So I'm going to show you how I got to the fuel injector and how I'm going to take a reading of that to see if there is um, a problem with the fuel injector that would keep it from working as designed. Now, it, it is possible that I get a good reading on the fuel injector and perhaps it's dirty. So. We're just going to have to take a look and see. So let me strap this GoPro to my head. All right, so I'd like to point out one of the first things I did. Um, you have to remove this piece of decorative trim uh, from on top of the engine so that you could uh, get to the fuel injectors. And that is held on by four screws and um, you need like a, a hex driver like this uh, to take those out. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, I don't know what size that is, but anyway, it just fits in like this. Yep, one of these. Anyhow, okay, so anyway, that decorative cover um, it actually goes right here. So once you unscrew that, um, you have a little bit more access. So the first thing I'd like to show you is how I took an ohm reading of the coil pack. And I'm just going to demonstrate on one of them. I'm gonna set this up where you can see it. Okay. Going to turn this on to ohms right there. That's that little omega sign. Moving closer, maybe you can see it. That little Greek letter. That's what you use to test resistance. Okay, so on the coil pack, that's what this little guy is. Let me get my phone and make sure I'm actually picking this up so I'm not talking and you can't see what I'm talking about. All right, yep, down in here, that is the top of the coil pack. And this little guy right here goes on top of it, this little pigtail. And I already tested all these, except for I really could not get to uh, number six very easily. Um, so that one I really didn't test, but I wasn't having a problem with that cylinder. So basically you take your probes and you're gonna touch it on here. And I don't have any alligator clamps, and sometimes that works a little better, but we're just going to make do with what we have. And you get point, 0 0.8, and that's what I got on all of them last night. So I don't think there's a problem with the coil pack. So next thing I'm going to show you is the fuel injector. And this was not a very easy thing to get to. So I'm actually going to climb up here um, so that you can get a bit better view. Okay. Set this up where we can see. And I'm going to try and point what we're doing. Okay, first of all, this little clip here, this is what sits on top of the fuel injector. And this little guy is kind of hard to remove. And so I was pushing on this little piece of plastic. I thought it was a tab. And as you can see, this doesn't really do anything. What you have to do is loosen this little metal, looks like a paper clip that's unfolded. This 
move in, see if you can see that. So what I did is I actually took this screwdriver and gave it a little push there and a little push there. And that loosened it where I could take it off. But that being said, it was not an easy job. So I'm not going to be pulling all these um, little pigtails off the top of the injectors to test them because it was hard. So, and I'm actually up here sitting on top of the engine and it's not very comfortable. So, uh, what we actually want to take the ohm reading of down here, I'm gonna move in closer, see if you can see. I'm going to point. Uh, I wish you could see that. I'm looking. I think I need a light in here. Anyhow, there is the top of the fuel injector. It is red. It is a rectangular shaped hole and there are two prongs in there. And we are going to take a reading. All right. I guess next time I do this, I would get a flashlight and make it a little bit easier to see. Okay, so I have my prongs. I don't have any alligator clips. I don't think they would fit in here anyway. Oh, this is awkward. I am so glad I am not a mechanic. I don't see how you guys do this. All right, this is 11.9, I'll try it again. Twelve point oh. Okay, so oh, this is uncomfortable. Again, I am not going to unplug all these fuel injectors to to take a reading to see if they compare. What I need to do is do some research and see what it is that they're supposed to read. Now, I did a quick YouTube search, and I found that for the fuel injectors for the um, twin turbo. Those are supposed to have a reading of between 10 and 14 ohms. Now, this car is not a twin turbo. It is a natural aspiration or the NA model. And what I don't know is if the injectors are the same on both or what the readings are supposed to be um, for, the, uh, for this type of car. But it seems like I'm getting a logical reading. Um, so at this point, um, if this fuel injector is functional, um, it could mean that maybe uh, the fuel injector is just dirty. It's, it's capable of functioning, but there's something that's obstructing it. Um, I'll just have to keep doing some research. Uh, so at this point, I'm not sure what's going on. I know that uh, uh, the, uh, the coil packs um, owned out. Um, I guess what I could do is maybe uh, swap a couple of them and, and see if that made a difference. Uh, so swap those coil packs, um, but this uh, injector has, uh, seems what appears to be an appropriate reading. I'll have to do some further research, and um, I might try some fuel injector cleaner. Maybe it's just clogged or dirty. Um, I don't see any corrosion on the contacts. I mean, everything looks clean, so I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to hop down. This is very awkward position, but thank you for watching. Have a great afternoon.